Hey, you see, you see, uh, the, the, those glasses right there? Yeah, they, uh, they're dirty. That's why they're empty. They need to be clean. Let's go do that now. What's going on, everybody? Maple Ruski back here for some glasses cleaning because I have a few dirty ones. And I, oh, there's a moth in this one. A moth? Look at that. Let's see that moth. You just turn this to zoom it, yeah. It doesn't focus. Yeah, it's pretty bad at focusing. There it is. There we go. There's the dead moth. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> we got him. So yes, we got a few yeah, glasses. We're supposed to clean. We're supposed to clean. This is, a, this is a cleaning video. Why? Because, yes. well, this was a simple idea for me. So yeah, all you need is a sink, dirty glasses, hot water, soap, a drying mat, and a drying cloth for your hands and for the beer. Okay. So, this is how I do it. Everybody does it differently. I turn the water on. I get it hot. Yeah, some people like to use cold water. Which is silly. Are you calling me out? Yes. So you wait till it gets hot. You don't want it scalding hot because burnt hands aren't fun. And then you just fill up each glass all the way to the top. You let it drain over a little bit. Look at that technique. What I call the pre-rinse. You do use a decent amount of water here, but it's better than throwing them in the uh, dishwasher and having them break. And there you go. Yeah. Now you're totally done. Good job. Yeah, no. Yeah, you can wait depending on how much, I guess, beer residue is still in there. Darker beers will take a little longer, especially with like tulip style glasses because all the beer gets settled into this bottom portion. You gotta wait. This water's, yeah, it's fine. It'll work. They're not too dirty, which is nice. And you just dry your hands. You're gonna get them wet again. And you take your, you take your full glass of water, pour out about half, and then I always put my hand over and just give it a shake. And I dump it out. That's it. I don't know why I figured out this was a good way to do it, but it's been working ever since. Never had a dirty glass after this. We gotta remember where the moth is. It's in the Rickards glass. So I don't know what we're gonna do with him. Isn't he done? Isn't he gone? No, he's still in the glass. Is he stuck in there? I don't know yet. I'm gonna find out in just a second. Where is this glass? Is it? This one here. This one. Yeah. Oh, yeah, he's still in there. Yeah, hopefully he's not stuck to the bottom. I mean, I saw him flying around earlier today. Um, and I didn't know what happened to him. So we're going to see. Is he, is he yeah, still? Yeah, he's still in there. Yeah, he's stuck right in there. Right there. <laughs> it's hard to see. No. Yeah, there we go. Oh. <laughs> So I don't know if he's gonna come out or what, or if we have to go in. I think we might have to go in. Let's see if we shake him around. Shake harder. Get them out of there. No, nope. try this way. Oh, uh, he's uh, he's really stuck in there. We're gonna pour that out. Still in there? Oh yeah, he's uh, he's stuck. Let's see if we can get him out. The water real hot. Nope, not yet. He's really stuck in there. What? He's really stuck in there. We're gonna let him soak off on the side for now. <laughs> okay, moving forward. You get your detergent or your, your, your soap, put a little, little dab yep. in each. Yep. I don't have a measurement for this, I just put a little bit in. So, oops, my hands. And then we fill them back up. Yeah, round two with so.
You always let it go over the glass as well so you run, wash it inside and outside. Sorry for the whining, but that's what our uh, tap does. Okay, yeah, I'll do that. Yep. So then when you get that, you do the same thing like you did with the first water. You rinse it around, get it all washed, dump it out, dump it out over your hand. You wash your hands at the same time. It's just like uh, it's dual purpose. This water is actually a little cold. It's the first time using cold water, apparently. That's all right. Still gets it clean. Yeah, this is actually the least amount of glasses I've cleaned in one sitting. Usually it's all 19 or 20 of them and it takes a while. And then I use both sinks. So today's a little easy. So now after that, guess what you do? You hit it with the hot water. The hot water. The hot water, yet again. You fill it, you make sure all the soap bubbles are out. And just move on to the next one. Easy peasy. Easy. Now the final step. Rinse. You shake it again. Look at that. Put it on the drying board or drying cloth. There you go. Look at that. Ooh. Simple. Simple, effective. The most dangerous part of this is if you drop the glass. So always be careful. Sinks are never flat, so if you have a glass that's a little top heavy, make sure you put it in an area of your sink where it won't fall over when you're spraying it with a ton of water. True. Most of these just uh, dry by themselves, but take it out, you get a little soap on it, it'll rinse. Very simple, like this one, it's still a little dirty, or a little soapy. There you go, easy peasy. And you take your, your drying cloth, you just dry them off. If you need to dry the inside, you throw the cloth on the inside, make a little, little spiral thing and just drop it in, twist it around. You're good to go. Easy, effective, doesn't take too long. Only lasts as long as how many glasses you have. Or if your water takes forever to heat up. But no one's getting no one's getting too picky about it. Right? Yes? No? <laughs> and that's pretty much it. Washing glasses with Maple Ruski. Anybody can do it. Right, Andre? Yeah. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> what happened with uh, Mr. Moth? Let's see what happened to him. Oh, he's floating now. He learned how to swim. There's only one thing to do now, right? Now let's put him to his final resting place. In the sink, he goes. Then we can wash this one real quick. Done. Drop. Water. Fill it up. Easy. Do an extra little shake to get all his uh, bits out. Hot water in. Off. There you go. Look at that. Boom. Done. Record setting glass washing. Stop getting his world records. <laughs> That's pretty much it. There you have it. Done. Easy peasy. I don't know what else you want from me. Go out there and wash some glasses because you know what? They're dirty friggin' glasses. <laughs> Hope you like the close up of my mouth. Thanks, Andre. <laughs> We focused on the beard. We won't focus on anything else. <laughs> the beard's the main, the main priority. It's like what? <laughs> See, you got like you you used a little bit of water to wash your uh, countertops. You're good to go. 
look at all these glasses.